Yo, what's going on guys, Swanson here, back with another episode of the WWE 2K23 My Rise Mode uh, Episode 7. Last time we done the New Japan Tournament and it went really well, we won it. If you didn't see that episode, go ahead and check it out, it was amazing. Uh, just before we start the video, please, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. That would really mean a lot to me. Um, we're trying to build up the audience because I always look at the stats and a lot of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So, it's free, press the button, and I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. We're going to Mexico this time, and uh, yeah, we're going to get straight into it, so let's do it, guys. Alright, we're literally outside in the middle of nowhere, but we're in Mexico. I'm pretty sure we've wrestled in this ring before in a previous My Career Mode, or something similar. can't really remember, but Brad Stevens is making his way to the ring. There is no announcement and whatever, it doesn't really matter, but yeah, he's getting inside the ring. We're gonna skip it. Oh, it's cool they've got a little like merch stand at the back. Yeah, just skip everyone's entrances because you can't hear the music because of copyright. But there we go, free, is it, I think it's free on free? I don't know if it's gonna be, I don't think it's gonna be Tornado. I think it will just be like regular tag match, which you know how we do. Alright, let's do it. Oh, we're against the uh, El. This guy. El Mago Jr. He's been in. Oh, there's Cole Quinn! I, I like how I've just. I'm just slowly realizing that I've wrestled against every single one of these. Why can't I not do it? Oh, there we go. Oh, what a move! You know, I'm actually really liking this ring. I like all the indie, like, rings, because I think they just, they just look aesthetically better. Like WWE have like, you know, like a basic image where like, you know, everything's sort of the same, there's just different sort of like logos and pay-per-views. But yeah, I like the style of this. Oh, he's... Haha! Oh, Glasgow Kiss! You know what, we're gonna nickname it the Edinburgh Kiss. And Glasgow Kiss, it's just a headbutt. You don't, you don't own the rights to the headbutt. Well, we're taking the fight to this guy. Uh, three is a bit more harder than two, but we're, we're 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 getting we're getting there. Taking the top rope frog splash for the pin for the win one, two. I imagine that was it. Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> uh, I went to like cough. And then laugh. Uh, oh, I did not expect that. Well, uh, we just won the tag match just like that. I was just going for the cover for dramatic effect, but there you go. I'm sorry for getting you too involved in all this. That attack was my fault. You didn't know that was going to happen. And now, this is our fight too. We need to get revenge. But putting Chosen's mask on the line is taking things too far. I'm not a masked luchador, but I understand how important it is. Losing your mask can destroy your career. It could tear you apart both professionally and personally. So I've made the decision to call off the match. If this is our only chance at revenge, then I'm willing to take the risk. We are doing the match. What about your image? Your social media following? Your plan to be the best in the world? You could lose everything while we have nothing at stake. It's what you would do, right? I don't know. Before you went to WWE, the answer would have been yes. I actually looked up to you back then. You? Looked up to me? Yes. 
You are so confident in everything you did. But then you failed in WWE. And not because management held you back. You held yourself back because you lost that belief that you could succeed in any situation. You made excuses and blamed everyone instead of just doing the work. But I'm not going to make the same mistake. I see. That's a lot to digest there. Are you sure about this, Chosen? What if we lose? I can overcome any setback. That's actually another lesson he taught me. I mean, look at how terrible things got for him. Yet, here he is. I mean, he threw everything away. Like, it got really, really bad. He was a plumber at the airport. Okay, okay, I think we get the point, but how about we just don't lose? That works for me. All right, let's do this. You've had some time to think about what Chosen said. Were you surprised that he looked up to you at one point? Yeah, I was. I just thought he didn't look up to anyone. But it meant a lot hearing that and why he thought my WWE run didn't work out. I'm not sure if I agree with everything he said, but it was interesting to get that perspective. This mask versus hair thing is a huge deal in Mexico. It's actually called a lucha de apuesta, which means match with wager. Someone finally did their research. Like you said, it's a tradition that goes back a long way in Mexico, so I take it very seriously. I might have had my differences with Chosen, but he's putting so much on the line by agreeing to this. So, I'm going to do everything I can to not only get payback against Legado de Lotharios, but also protect his mask and legacy. We owe him that. Alright, here we go. Three on three, Ana Ez a... Oh, I've just messed. Ana Ez a tornado one, so, yeah. I just said we've got to defeat them. And that is it. I'm facing off against Angel, I think it is. I can never ever see like what's going on in these type of matches. I think yeah, I'm facing against yeah, I'm facing against Angel right now. Oh, oh, who's this guy? Just give me a German super prize. Oh, I went for the super kick. Clearly missed. Oh, reversal. Oh, it's weird having no commentator bit here. But it works out, I guess. I need to get this guy back in the ring just in case we actually... Go for the roll-up! One! Ah, one count. I feel like we've, we're relying on the roll-up now since it's just an overpowered move. Oh, we're going for the top rope move. We're the only ones in the ring. Ah, oh, suplex into the red arrow. Boom, for the cover. One. Ah. Oh. oh my God, everyone just keeps trying to mess with me. Who are we facing now? I think we're facing against Escobar right now. But we need to be... Oh! Right out of the ring. Bye now. Roll up. One. Two. Oh, we got the two count. This is the best opportunity. Oh, got him up. I don't even know what this move is called. Two. Hey, we got the win.
All right, well, we got the Mexican storyline out of the way. Now, we do have little bonus things, but I do like to stick to the story. Um, let me let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do the side ones on the actual episode. Have you heard what Noam Dahl's been up to lately? I've been a bit busy winning matches all over the world, so no. I haven't had time to keep up with Noam Dahl or NXT UK at all. Well, you're in luck, because I have been watching, and I'm really good at concise, informative recaps. Noam Dahl is now both the NXT UK champion and holder of the Heritage Cup, which, reminder, is defended under British rules. Recently, he issued an open challenge for anyone to face him for both of his championships. Not bad on the recap, but could have gotten to the point quicker. That open challenge is intriguing. If you're interested, I can put some feelers out with NXT UK. I am interested in answering the open challenge, but don't bother reaching out to NXT UK. I have a different plan. WWE likely won't play ball with me after how things ended. So what if I showed up unannounced? <laughs> are we doing an invasion? Yes. Yes, we are. Okay. What happens if you win? I haven't thought that far ahead yet. I'll play it by ear. All right, we're gonna actually keep this episode short, so we're and, and just sort of storyline based every episode. So we're gonna end it here, and we're gonna keep this one Viva la Mexico, um, if I'm saying that correctly. So yeah, uh, we will be stealing the show in NXT in next episode. So guys, if you did enjoy this, please make sure you leave a like. Like I said at the start of the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's very important. We're trying to build the audience here. Well, let's get to 10,000 subscribers eventually. So yeah, if you did enjoy this, please leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment down below because I always see and reply to every comment. And I'll catch you next time with another episode. Peace.